you know, one game, one win. What did you think of your team's performance tonight? Uh, there's some good. There's some stuff that we can clean up. I thought uh, we took too many penalties, especially we started the third period off in the penalty box from one carrying over from the second and took two more. Uh, you know, you're up 2 nothing. You got to – what it does, does two things. It feeds their top players to get them back in the game with uh, – with their power plays, they get they get handled the puck. But the other thing it does, it takes our lineup out of the game. Like you have killers that are going over and over, and then you're trying to get everybody back in the game. And timing, you take another penalty, and then it's it's so you lose your rhythm in the game. So um, that part I wasn't crazy about. There were some good things, and you know it was a it was a back and forth game a little bit. Schmidt was excellent. You didn't use too many forwards on the PK, um, and three of them were, were top six guys. What played into that decision, and what did you like about the mix uh, that you used? Early on the PK, early on the PK, we're, we're uh, trying to evaluate people. So those are the four that I knew we were going to use for sure, and uh, just went, went with them. Can you just comment on the three phases that Hyman contributed in tonight? I mean, he got the power play goal. He was a big part of the kill. And then five on five, that line just. That line was excellent. Yeah, they were excellent. As a five on five group, they were great. He just, he's so tenacious. He's, he just, everybody with him just gets, I mean, his energy is contagious. So, uh, uh, and that's, you know, it's, it's funny. You, I talked to him before the game. I said, Himes, I'm going to use you in a lot of different situations tonight. He can laugh. He goes, okay. <laughs> you know, okay. <laughs> so, so that's that's what you do, and he and he delivers. You know, that's, he's one of those guys, you send him over the boards, you know what you're going to get. If the stats I pulled were right, it looked like the shot attempts when he was out there were 16-7 in favor, and the chances were like 10 nothing. And mm -hmm. What does he do to just, you know, maintain it at that other end so well? It worked. They work. They have skill. They use their skill with work, and when you do that, you can you can find some find some success. So, it's all it's really work based, and that's you know I thought that line was excellent. The Nudes the other night in Vancouver worked really hard. Like that's the line they played very well, and they played well again tonight. So, that's a, that's a good sign. Dave, how deep do you plan ahead on on your shootout guys? Did you know that, that like is it the top five you have mapped out before the game, or is five. it gut feel? I have five. Went into it with five. So what if it goes to the six? Then what do you do? You just go with who's ever hot that game? You, it's could be a hot guy, could be a guy that you've seen before do it, but it's uh, you have a good idea which way you're going to go. You, you mentioned you didn't like your team taking too many penalties in the third. What about when a guy like Sevier is new to the team, you know, sees a big hit on on Duncan Keith and, and steps up on Myers. You find that teams seem to kill off instigator penalties more than maybe other ones? There's, that's always mentioned. When the plen penalty is there, somebody always mentions, let's make sure we kill that one off. So that's... After what happened in the playoffs of, last year, losing three straight or games in overtime. What's that, Terry? I said, after what happened last year, losing three straight in overtime, I don't imagine you're going to complain too much about winning in a shootout, but uh, you guys went into this year, um, I think, a little more focused in terms of trying to get out of the gate something the opposite of you did last year with uh, losing this game and going one for four. Can you just talk about getting the win and moving on? Well, we talked about that all camp, and we felt like the last week of camp we've kind of had our team together and – we don't feel like, like it's the first game, but we we feel like we've been playing kind of uh, regular season games the last two or three. So that was my goal going into camp and getting the last week of camp out of the way. But we did some good things in camp, and uh, we were looking to follow it up tonight. Like I say, there's still we still got lots of work to do, but the attitude and the you know going into the game, uh, building a little confidence from from preseason was was good and so we we go in we win the first game we got some work to do calgary uh they don't play till saturday the, the were their first game so they'll have lots of energy so we'll look at a few things there's some things we can clean up and uh things we want to just continue to talk about finding ways to win and finding ways not to not to put ourselves behind the eight ball with turnovers or penalties thank you yeah. uh 
Dave over here. Uh, you know, Mike Smith has a great game. Paul Yarvey gets six shots. Hyman gets one. Turris gets uh, gets one. Uh, McDavid gets a couple. Nurse plays 32 minutes. There's still 81 games to go, but you yeah. kind of re reassured from the the start you got from the guys you need good starts from. Well, you're hoping a lot of those guys you mentioned they're key guys, so you want to get them. They want to you know like to see them get off to a good start, which is good, but. The other part of it tonight is, you know, we had, with all the penalties we took, we took some guys out of the game. You know, that fourth line has been pretty good for us. And even though Shore didn't play tonight, they didn't get a lot of minutes because, like you said, the timing of the penalties just seemed like to disrupt the disrupt the uh, rhythm of it. But I thought Fogel was good. You know, he, he was around the puck a lot early in the game, and then the penalties kind of took him out of the rhythm too. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll, it's one game. We'll, we'll take the points and... There's stuff we can do a lot better, and there's there's some stuff that you can build on. When it's you're up two nothing with eight minutes to go, uh, did the two that they got is that just kind of situational? They converted, or was that you guys? Well, the one is a penalty. That's a you know it's a deflection off Nuge's stick that finds his way in, and the second one you you could feel it like we weren't doing enough to uh, to push back, and when they get momentum like that through those those power plays. You feel like you're on your heels. We don't. We didn't do enough to sustain anything in the offensive zone to look like we were going to push back enough, you know. And the the shot that went in, both their shots are kind of like seeing eye shots. You understand that. But that being said, you we didn't we didn't generate enough or, or give ourselves a chance at enough momentum in the third because of some of the penalties and and some of the puck play we had.